What's going on everyone on Sports? Back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my third New York Giants specific mock draft. Um, of course, once again, uh, I use the draft network controlling just the New York Giants and picking um, another scenario of whoever's on the board for the New York Giants. Um, so before I get into it, everyone, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so at number 11, I got the New York Giants taking the Northwestern offensive tackle, Rashawn Slater. Um, he's 6'4", 305 pounds. Um, he is an unbelievable um, prospect. He's the second best offensive lineman in the draft. Although if you guys watched my NFL mock draft, the uh, total NFL um, controlling all teams, um, what I think is going to happen, I had him going eight to the Panthers. If you haven't watched that, please do that and watch. Um, but I don't think Rashawn Slater will be there at 11. According to the draft network, he will be at 11. So I'm going to take him at 11. At number 42, I got the New York Giants taking the LSU wide receiver, Terrace Marshall Jr. I did have him going to the Jaguars in my mock draft. So I don't think he'll be there. I think he'll be a first round pick. But if he is there, I think it's a terrific option for the Giants, especially if they do end up going with an offensive lineman in round number one. Um, I love Terrence Marshall. Um, he was playing alongside um, Jamar Chase, of course, except for last year where, when Chase opted out due to COVID. Um, but in 2020, Terrence Marshall had 48 receptions for 731 yards. He had 10 touchdowns, and that's an average of 15.2 yards per catch. He's six foot three, 200 pounds, so he's obviously quite a big guy. Um, he's a deep threat. I love Terrence Marshall. If the Giants can land him, after taking Rashawn Slater, that would be a very, very good um, first two rounds. At number 76, I got the New York Giants taking the offensive tackle from Northern Iowa, Spencer Brown. Um, Spencer Brown, of course, are just, uh, he's, he's, he's huge. Um, he's six foot eight and a half. He's 315 pounds. He's massive. Um, I think he would be a terrific addition to the Giants. And I think getting him at this pick would be really, really good. If they can go um, round one and three uh, offensive line, then that's pretty good. And then they can get some other needs um, in rounds um, four or five. And, well, they don't have a fifth round pick, so four and six. Or, sorry, they don't have a fifth round pick, so the sixth round. Um, Spencer Brown um, will be great at number 76. At 116, the linebacker. From North Carolina was still on the board, Chaz Surratt, um, and he is a terrific player. Um, he's a great linebacker. Linebacker is obviously a position that the Giants need. He's a 4-3. Uh, that's his scheme fit. Um, uh, so, obviously, he's, he's a terrific player. A lot of mocks have him going to the New York Giants. Um, he had six and a half sacks um, in 2019. Um, he had uh, 10 quarterback hurries and he had 15 tackles for loss so he's obviously a very very good player and that was just on a 13 game sample size with 11 starts so if the Giants land him at this pick um, at 116 I think that would be a very 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 good pickup for the New York Giants with the New York Giants first six round pick at number 196 I'm gonna go with them taking the Louisville running back Javian Hawkins um, he's a short um, five foot nine, one ninety six. Um, he had uh, eight hundred and twenty two uh, yards um, in twenty twenty. That's a six point two average, seven touchdowns in twenty nineteen. On a bigger sample size, he had fifteen hundred and twenty five yards for five point eight per and nine touchdowns. Um, obviously, the Giants took Devo uh, picked up Devonte Booker early in free agency, um, but I could very well see them with one of these. Um, two six-round picks, taking a running back. He was the best one available at this pick. I would much rather Khalil Herbert. I had him in a couple of my other mocks. Khalil Herbert's much better, in my opinion, but obviously they didn't have him here when the Giants were up at 196. So if the Giants, ha uh, I think they should take a running back with one of these two um, sixth-round picks. All right, guys, and at number 201, you might realize that the Giants haven't taken an edge rusher. Um, I think they're going to take one... Um, Patrick Johnson at 201 from Tulane. Um, he had 10 sacks in 2020. Um, he had just four um, in 2019, but 10 and a half 
back in 2018. He's a very, very good player. And if the Giants can get him at in, with their second sixth round pick, that'll be a very, very good pick for the New York Giants. Obviously, the edge rush position, position is a need. Of course, they have o O'Shane Zimenez and Lorenzo Carter coming. They brought in the guy from Minnesota. But I still think that they can take one. I wouldn't take one in the first two rounds unless in the second round there's one that should have been in the first round and it's a steal. That's the only way I could see them in the first two rounds. But Patrick Johnson's a great, great fit for the Giants. He's six foot three, two fifty five. He had ten sacks, like I said, in twenty twenty two. So I could very well see the Giants taking him, and I would love him at number two oh one. That's all I got in this video, guys. Please let me know down below in the comment section what do you think about these six picks: Rashawn Slater, Terrence Marshall Jr., Spencer Brown, Chaz Surratt, Javian Hawkins, and Patrick Johnson with the six picks that the New York Giants hold in the two thousand twenty two NFL Draft. Um, as always, leave a like on the video. Comment, as I said, let me know what you think about these picks. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next video.